Hello, hello once again. Welcome to probably part 15 of this entire um, road long sections tutorial. On this video, we'll be going through your offset. So we've already gone through separate videos calculating your tangent grade and your grade and how to draw the whole diagram. So if you are a bit unfamiliar with that, please go through the previous videos covered before this one. I think it's about three or four parts, not actually 15. So on this one, it's a really short one. We'll be going through how to go about your offset calculations. And essentially, like I said, your offsets only fall between your BVC and your EVC. We'll just need five itty bitty values. You um, offset at your BVC zero and your offset at your EVC is actually zero. And you're trying to find out what it is in between. So once you get your question paper, <coughs> once you get your question paper, these are the formulas you'll be using to go about calculating your offsets or to calculate your offsets. Your offset is that y is equals to ax squared divided by 200l. Your l will always be this l that's given on here. Your x depends on the distance between the chain that you're at and the BVC before it or the EVC after it. So if you're calculating offsets between your BVC and your VPI, you'll be using the distances from your BVC to each chainage. So for instance, a BVC is at 350. So the first X will be between 350, 370, which is 20. The second X will be between 350 and 400, which is 50. Our third one will be from 350 to 410, which is 60. Then once you pass your VPI line, your X will then be in relation to your EVC. We're no longer considering that. So it will be the distance between your X or your VPI, sorry, and your EVC. So it will be from 410 to 470, which is 60. From 430 to 470, which is 40. From 460 to 470, which is 10. And that is essentially how you're going to go about it. Then your A calculation would be your G2 minus your G1. So remember, we've already calculated our G2 and our G1. It's our grade. Those are the values you will be using there. So when I do G2 minus G1, um, um, my G2 is 1.143. My G1 is a negative 1.065. So 1.143 minus negative 1.065, I get a value of 2.208. It adds up because of that minus a negative. And um, what else remains constant? Your 200 times L, your 200 times 120 also remains constant. 200 times 120, your 24,000 remains constant. So this is just to make your life easier so you know um, that your formula will only essentially be changing at that X point, okay? So remember we said your offset at the BVC is zero. The next one we want is at 370. So you will say um, your Y is equals to ax squared over 200l our a is 2.208 into and i said the distance between your bvc and the first point will be 20 because it's 350 370 20 squared over 24,000. then you get a value there then similarly you do it at 400 at 410 430 460 470 and you get your values there you can run them off to the nearest set to the two decimal places just for the sake of uniformity, so you can now plug your values on there. First one I get is 0 0.0368, it will be 0 0.04. Second one I get is 0 0.23, third one 0 0.3312, and so on and so forth. Then you'll just plug and play those onto your table based on the calculations you are getting. It's really easy. You're just going to plug them in here. So remember to put the 0 here and the 0 here. Then put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. That's your offset. Your final road levels, um, we were given a final road level on here. So your final road level between point A and your BVC will be, the final road level will be equal to your tangent grade. So anything before the curve that will be equal to the tangent grade. So you can copy all of these and paste them on here. Similarly, everything after the end of your vertical curve, this, this, and that, copy 
paste them on here but whatever happens between your bvc and your evc will be your tangent point or tangent grade plus the offset you calculated here remember that's the only place we have our offset here it's essentially the formula for your final road level is your tangent grade plus your offset but our offset in all of these ones is zero and in all of these ones is zero it only changes between the curve area okay so tangent grade plus your offset gives you your final road level then you have your cut and fill it will be your final road level which you would have calculated or you would have plugged and play here minus your natural ground level we're now trying to understand that in order to get to the desired level that we want what will our final road level look like do we need to cut some soil off or do we need to get material from elsewhere in order to import and plug and play not plug and play import and add on to our existing ground this is the part where we are essentially trying to decide what's happening so already based on the curve that we would have gotten here it is now going to determine what's happening just by looking at the curve you'll see already the difference between everything that's happening okay so those are just the values that we would have gotten there and then the final stage well not really the final stage but this is the stage you can carry out as you complete a point here is to represent the information you got on here represented on the graph okay so i normally use the circle command because i find that it's easier because it has that central point there so for instance if you have your ngl at 223.4 we're looking for 223 it's here that's 223.0.1 Point two, point three, point four. then you place it on there then that's what you're going to do for all your points until you essentially end up with a couple of circle that you can join into a single spline or a single curvy line all right um i'll complete this and then i'll be back i don't know whether to complete it while i'm recording or to complete it off camera but yeah, essentially that's how you carried out. So we said all these offsets are zeros. You can leave them as zero as that, or you can just put zeros there. And just copy everything. This one becomes zero as well. Okay, then I've calculated mine. 